I have been called racist by a computer game. Yep. And he doesn't have a leg to stand on here, and I can prove it. Hey guys, RC here, back with Club 4, Episode 4 of our Bielsa Journeyman Save, and we are with Levante in the Spanish First Division. So, you remember last season when I was at Leicester and we won the treble? It wasn't that long ago. There was a club that we beat in the semifinals of one of the cup ter matches, cup tournaments, and that was Gijon. And I think that guy's holding a grudge because prior to our match today, they said that I was winning a lot of plaudits by having an abundance of domestic players. Now, first off, the press, and I don't like the press very much, uh, they're, they're stirring the pot here by saying that it's my policy of using homegrown players. No, I just took a job at a club that had a lot of Spanish players. I kind of make do with what I got when I start, right? You have to. So that's misleading by the press. Well, then he comes out and says, I'm a big advocate of foreign talent personally, and people like Cajun are holding the game back in this country by failing to capitalize on new styles and cultures that come along with imported players. Got two words for you, buddy. Um. Anyway, not you guys, him. Um. So, I said I could prove it, right? So, first year, we do have a lot of Spaniards on the club. No doubt about that. But I inherited that. That's not my fault. If that is even a racist thing to have Spanish players on a Spanish club. In fact, memory may serve me correct that there's actually a club in Spain that mandates that you only sign players from that region of Spain. So I don't know how you're racist if you're just if you're doing that. But irregardless, I have signed five players since taking over the club. Let's go through the list, shall we? Tobias Adamot. Oh wow, he's German, not Spanish. Patrick Nasdik Nass. Oh, he's German too, not Spanish. Maxim Berniak? Nope, he's Portuguese. Stefan Pernan, he's, he's obviously Spanish, right? Oh, no, he's French from that other coach's country. Maybe he should know that, right? Tomas Fazekas, Spanish? No, he's Romanian. So none of the five players that I've signed since taking the job are from Spain. If anything, I ought to be getting called out for not catering to the domestic player. Because obviously I'm willing to bring in people from anywhere if they can play the game of football. Anyway, thought that was kind of amusing. Not really. But let's get to Gijon today. It's only highlights, although I should play them on camera now. But uh, let me get that game played. We'll come right back for highlights. Oh, by the way, December 7th, 2058. A date which will live in infamy. Hopefully you know what that means. Oh, just to catch you guys up, we lost 5-3 to Valencia, Mecca with a brace. We lost 3-2 to Alves, uh, Ibanez, and Nanzik Ness with the goals. We drew with Atletico Bilbao 2-2, and we beat Getafe 3-0. Gonzalez, Ibanez, and Pablo Santin with the goals. We did switch over to a flat 4-4-2 in that last game, so I think we're going to stick with that going forward. Now let's look at the highlights from today's Gijon matchup. Well, I really hope that our form comes together here and the guys get into the tactic. Little flick on header, two flick ons, and Berto puts it into the goal past Pernan. We come back just before halftime. Santine spots a pass. Ibanez gets on the ball at the edge of the box, and he slots it home. There's the equalizer. Just a couple of minutes into the second half, a big counter. Prescott splits our defense. Long strides get up into the box, and he beats Pernan, and we find ourselves in a 2-1 hole. Nanzik Ness 
is on the ball, plays it ahead to Gonzalez, and he dinks the keeper, and it just trickles off the woodwork and across the line for the equalizer. 33-10 to 10 on shots and 16-6 to 6 on target. Uh, we dominated this game and got FM'd. Should have won it uh, and should have stuck it to that guy. But uh, And now he is like my least favorite manager in the history of football manager, <laughs> even though he's not even real. Thank God. Because if I was playing real guys, I would be livid and I would be sending hate mail uh, in the mail. Next up is Espanol. We'll be right back for kickoff. All right. Well, I made the decision to skip the Espanol game and come back for Amore Bieta because that was just announced in between these two matches. So we prevailed over Espanol, surprising 4 2. Brian Ibanez, uh, Enrique with goals, and Antonio Gonzalez with a brace to lead us to a 4 2 victory. Uh, that currently has us just outside of the Euro qualifying at 25 points. There is a big log jam, and we have got to stay ahead of this. I mean, the scary thing is there's only four points separating us from 16th position. So we've got, we've, we've got a long way to go and try to keep our head above water here. All right, but let's go to team selection. We are playing in the cup match today. We're going with Pernan in goal. No, actually, you know what? I'm going to start Torino today. Uh, he's good enough to be a number one. I think Pernan is long-term, but I had already signed Torino as an important player, and he's starting to complain. He did get torched in his first outing. Uh, he's given up five goals, so E. Uh, but he's only giving up one goal in non-competitive matches, so... We'll see what he can do here. Uh, Navarro, Fernandez, Kovac, and Garay on the back line. Santin and Segoba in the mid. And uh, attacking three of Ibanez, Enrique, and Nanzik Nas. And Gonzalez up top. They're still working on tactical familiarity. So, you know, again, I hope that's something they can gather here in short order. All right, Gonzalez is on that ball for Amore. And I, I'm just going to call him Amore because now I can't be bothered to remember the whole long name. I think I did a pretty good job on the pronunciation of it, but we'll see. Nobody was up there. That was horrible. There's another one going up top. Nobody there. Kovac has been linked to a couple of uh, deals, uh, Chinese Super League and also Liverpool, uh, talking about a deal. Oh, God. Galen gets beaten bad. Bill Bow with a big tackle in the box, but it slides over to Gonzalez, and he puts it into the net, and we are up 1-0. And I'm looking at the wrong freaking team. We're in white. I am completely blind. I seriously thought we were in the blue. I don't know why. But Ibanez gets tackled, and it goes to Gonzalez, and we're winning. Yay, us. Um, maybe I ought to, I'm going to walk myself over to the other coaching box now because obviously I've been in the wrong one all game long for the first four minutes. Ibanez comes through. Picks a pass, two quick passes, and Gonzalez has a brace inside of five minutes, and it's Levante 2, Amore 0, and we are cruising here in the cup. We'll go ahead and throw some praise out at him. Oh, there's a little worm burner. Navarro tracks it back. Torino, or Torino, the little squiggly line throws me off. Oh, there's another one up top. Gonzalez has, oh, oh, I was calling it too early. I thought he had a hat trick inside of 15 minutes. Come on, boys. Keep it up. Eight shots, five on target. No shots yet for a more. Uh, that's just, that's poor by Nass. It's like he laid it off, but it's like it was just a, a little touch. 
not enough to actually get it to the player, and it just fell right to the defender. That was poor. That'll be one of those things that make it into my notebook for practice. So Goba. Oh, there's over to Nass. It's into the middle, and there is the hat trick. 16 goals on the season, and we've got a 25-minute hat trick for Gonzalez up top. Looking really good. I'm wondering if this is one of those times that maybe we ought to play some players out of position just to give them some game time, let them learn some other positions. But it's still early, maybe in the second half if we're still up by three. That was very, very close, but he was a step to the good. And he's playing a 9.1, two assists for Nass. The rain is coming down. The fans are well protected. Gonzalez heads it down to Enrique. He gets his third of the season. We're not playing attacking. Uh, let's um, let's tell him no pressure. Don't need to watch the replay. Perez punches it out. Oh, uh, look at that ball movement over, and it's slotted in by Sagoba, his third of the season, and it's 5-0 Levante. We're gonna we're gonna come back to balanced. Why the keeper didn't grab control of that, I don't know. Nass is going to play one into the box here. Let's head it out. Fernandez back on it. Oh, there it is. No. Oh, the, the, I, I was starting to feel bad for that keeper. I thought Gonzalez was going to grab his fourth of the first half. The good news is I can sub him off at halftime because he's already got his hat trick. And you guys won't lose your minds uh, if I sub him off uh, before he got the hat trick. We can give him some rest. I'd like to... Okay, I don't know what that was. Oh, my goodness. They, they just passed it back and forth. That looked like a Harlem Globetrotter layup lay, uh, practice. And Nass puts it in for the sixth goal of the first half. Do we call off? I mean, you know, I've put it back to balanced. I don't know what else I can do to call off the dogs. Let's get into halftime. Or we can get another. Oh, my God, that came off of Enrique and went out of bounds. That could have just as easily went in the net. All right, what are we going to do here? I think, I mean, everybody's having a good game. With the exception of Garay, let's pull him off for Anaki Martinez. I would like to rest Kovac. Let's bring on Guerrero. And let's rest... Tell you what, I'm going to bring Ibanez up top, and then let's bring... I'm going to go ahead and make all three subs out here, but the assistant manager saying Garcia, but Mecca's up there. Let's see, Mecca is 22. Garcia's 22. Both have four-star potential. I'm going to bring Mecca on. Let's do that. Let's go to the dressing room. Uh, we're going to just hands together. I'm happy with your performance. All right, so we made all three subs. Hopefully we don't have an injury because that would be horrible. All right, they went a header on us. Boo, oh, that was close. Torino with a, at least a shot to go up and challenge. Santine has his cross in blocked. Over the top, and it's Ibanez getting a left foot on it. But I think he was flagged off sides. And that stops that attack. We've had 25 shots in the first 60 minutes. 27 shots in 60 minutes. That's almost one shot every two minutes. That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. 
We'll take it, though. I mean, you know, you need games like this every once in a while. All right, that one's cleared out over the midfield line. Ibanez is on to it. He holds it up. He's taken down hard in the box, and he gets the penalty. And it's going to be Jacobo Navarro lining up to take this one. Navarro is our left back. How insane is that? And I think he just missed it. All right, I got to look and see what his, uh, what's his penalty taking? A nine. Okay, so he's not horrible, but that was a pretty poor effort. All right, we're going to go back to cautious just to dial it back a little bit. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and dial back our, let's go ahead and dial back our tempo and our passing. Let's do a little bit of time wasting. Slow the pace down. There you go. We'll do that. Just slow it down a little bit. I think the other game would have been more exciting to watch. But this one had a lot of goals. So I guess, uh, you know, you take what you can. But I think we made the right call coming back for the Spanish Cup match. And we'll probably watch all of them. Next year, I may not come back for the first round, though. We may wait till the second round <laughs> before we uh, get tied in. Oh, nice first touch there by Martinez for uh, Amore. They are slowing the ball down. Shorter passing. Mecca's into the box. And he misses his shot. I'm going to go back up to balanced. I just don't, don't like that. I mean, there's no reason for us to be super defensive. Because now I'm looking at it that it's a nil-nil draw in the second half. And that <laughs> 32 shots, 16 on target, an XG of 4.77, and six goals. So I think we earned that. A good win. And I think we have to be happy with that. We do have the second round draw, so let's get up to that before we end the episode in two days. And we do have a 17-day layoff. I don't know if that's, um, is that an international break or something? I have no idea. But there's a long break going into that transfer window. Oh, maybe that's their winter break. I don't know. Not very familiar with the winter in, uh, the winter weather in Spain, their northern hemisphere. So I'm assuming it's winter in December. I think it's the southern hemisphere where that's reversed. Never lived in the southern hemisphere. So, all right, here's the draw. We have uh, 56 teams. So guess what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to hit next team 56 times. We're just going to draw all teams and see who we got. So we drew Linares who are a 10,000 capacity, and they are in the second division, B4. So if we go there, B3, B2, B1, wow. I don't think we're going to watch that game, guys. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll pass on that. Yeah, and that's in a couple of days. So, well, a couple of matches. So let's come back. Let's get through that. Transfer window. How about let's come back for Valladolid highlights, and did we open with Real Madrid? We did, and we beat them. I think we're almost obligated to come back and have them beat us on camera <laughs> uh, at their stadium, or we can embarrass them and beat them twice in the same season. Uh, so yeah, let's come back in a handful of matches. We'll have Valladolid highlights, Real Madrid on the docket, and we are currently ninth in the table. Uh, 15 points behind Real Madrid, but we are only one of three teams that have beaten them this season. So we'll take that. Uh, no matter what happens the rest of the year, they can't take away that first match of the year, right? All right, hit that like button, subscribe for daily football manager content. Thank you so much for dropping by, and we will see you guys next episode. Have a good one. Bye.